Centuries before planes, trains and merchant ships brought our world closer together, the Silk Road was the lifeblood of international trade. A trade route connecting China to Europe since 200 BC, the Silk Road was travelled by merchants of all nationalities in search of treasures, riches and life-changing adventure. In the early 1900s, Sir Mark R. L. Stein, a British archaeologist, set out to confirm his theories about the rich past of the Silk Road. In three expeditions, Stein traversed 25,000 miles of Central Asia and Western China, thus gaining the reputation of conducting the most daring and adventurous raids upon the ancient world. Stein was born in Hungary in 1862, but later became a British citizen. He was a scholar on Central Asia and India, and worked at various Indian universities, translating and publishing several ancient works from the Silk Road, before deciding to go on expeditions to Central Asia. Stein's first expedition began in 1900. He then made three more expeditions. During these trips, he retraced the Silk Road's routes between China and the West, uncovering and collecting many artifacts along the way. His observations contributed to current knowledge on the path that the original Silk Roads took. Many of the artifacts were then taken back to Europe and Japan and given to museums. Stein was the first European to buy parts of the contents of the breathtaking Mogeo Caves, also known as the Caves of the Thousand Buddhas, near Dunhuang in western China. caves were virtually unknown outside of China until the artifacts that Stein purchased made them famous. Hey, you want a diamond? Yes, I do. It's all yours. <laughs> Thank you. One of the treasures that Stein took home from the Mongo Caves was the Diamond Sutra, which was printed in 868 CE, making it the oldest known printed text in the world. The expeditions of Europeans like Stein in the late 19th century and early 20th century helped with piecing together the ancient route of the Silk Road and with demonstrating the extent of the goods, ideas, and cultures that were spread along the route. Stein's expeditions unearthed an amazing collection of paintings, documents, and artifacts that are now housed in the British Museum, the British Library, the Srinagar Museum in Northern India, and the National Museum in New Delhi, India. Together, they contributed to the knowledge of Buddhist literature and art, as well as the history of the Central Asian portion of the Silk Road. Before his 81st birthday, Stein was granted permission to explore in Afghanistan. But he died in Kabul in 1943 before he could begin his trip. Who knows what he would have found. <laughs>